Many people forget about Mahatma Gandhi's early experience in South Africa and that how it helped him in becoming the man he was. So Tegra House is one such fine establishment which also has a museum. Come, let's have a look into his journey in South Africa. Thank you for coming at Satyagraha House. This is uh, one of uh, the houses that Gandhi stayed in the time he was in South Africa. This house was built by a guy by the name of Urban Kalambak. He was a German Jew guy that Gandhi met in a vegetarian restaurant. And he became a very, very close friend. Actually, he's the one who helped Gandhi because he, he was financially strong. He's the one who offered this house to Gandhi. He's the one actually who put money the time Gandhi started editing his newspaper. He's the one who gave Gandhi his firm, his uh, farm, Tolstoy farm, so that Gandhi can put accommodate all the Satyagraha. Why Satyagraha house? Why Satyagraha? The time Gandhi came to South Africa, he found that Indian people were not living like other people. He wanted people from India to live like white people. He decided to uh, fight against racism in South Africa. That's why he created this philosophy of Satyagraha, so that he can help him to fight against that. And that philosophy was actually born in this house in 1907. Originally Satyagraha means uh, Satya is truth, Agraha sees, is uh, to seize the truth. Originally, this house, at the beginning, was having uh, two, two bedrooms. This is the original plan of the house. This is the dining room, and this is the passage, and actually the kitchen. In 1910, Kalambak had two bedrooms inside, where Gandhi was sleeping with his wife, Kastuba, and uh, his, man, his son, Maninan, was sleeping in this house. And in 1920, the active Kalambak had a cottage. You will see there, this is the cottage. This is uh, the architect. Gandhi's friend, Edmund Kalambak, during the construction of this place. And all these pictures during the, that time. And this is the final picture of the house. We didn't actually change much. And this house was actually uh, bought by a French company by the name of uh, Voyageur du Monde. So that's why you see, you, you see Federal, everything is written in French and English. Here we are, we are at number seven, the crowd. Why they call us the crowd? It's because of, if you look at the, the form of the rooms, they are round. In South Africa, when someone is actually having some small animals, it keeps them in a small room, in some small room called crowd. That's why this place is called crowd. As I told you, we are not only a guest house, a museum, we are also a guest house. So, in total, we have seven bedrooms in this house. In the main house, we have two rooms, and outside, we have seven, uh, five rooms. So, we are going to see how the philosophy of Satyagraha House developed face these two people. They even changed their life, of living, their way of living. So, we're going to start at, we're gonna start at the right hand side, where Gandhi was sleeping. The first room, which was used by Gandhi. In front of me, we have Gandhi. But in two times, in three times, this is Gandhi, the way he was dressing the time he was from London as a lawyer. And the time he started developing the philosophy of Satyagraha, how, Satyagraha he decided two ways like that. Why? The first reason why was because of uh, one of the principles of, of, his, of his philosophy was he's supposed to stay away from material things. So he was thinking, dressing like that, it was a luxury. So you have to stay humble. That's why I started dressing like this. And sometimes Gandhi wanted peace to 
stay alone for his wife, for his kids. He was sleeping on top there, on the roof, using this type of leather. It's not the same, but we just put this one to illustrate the history. Even though Mahatma Gandhi spent few years of his life in the city of gold, his presence still lingers. Satyagraha House helps us to appreciate this man who was the Mahatma. For more such informative videos, keep watching Travel World Online.